Tonight on Primetime TV Drama. You're late. It's caught in traffic. Well, why didn't you leave earlier? Fine then. You want to know the real reason I was late? I don't love you anymore. Yes, yes you do. Barbara, who are you? Cheryl's my new lover. That's right, Douglas. Well, I'm sleeping with my secretary. Well, I went fishing with your uncle. I ate a box filled with chocolate. I'm taking the kids. I'm taking the goldfish. I've got a big rash on my arm. No one cares about you, Gerald. You're just a minor character for a single plot twist. Now get out of here. Well, goodbye, Barbara. But before I go, I have something very important to tell you. And tomorrow afternoon, check this out. I'm sorry, Douglas, about going on that rant last night. Barbara, you know, it's really my fault. I was just stressed out with work and all that. I understand. When it gets late and that sappy violin music starts playing, I just want to scream bloody murder at you. I know what you mean. It's really a bit much. And why did that guy tell us that he couldn't read? That's kind of random. I have no clue. I just met him at the restaurant. You know, it's really a good thing we don't simply live our lives between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. weeknights at Channel 9, because otherwise people would just assume that all we do is argue and fight. So what do you want to do this evening? I was thinking we could go see that new movie. The one that just came out. Sounds good. See you this evening. Coming tomorrow night, Douglas, why? Because it's 9 p.m. and we're obligated to get into another tiff. So unfair. Well, life isn't fair, Barbara. Anyway, the movie starts at 10, so I'll see you then, okay? Screw you, Douglas. Go run the desert!